Today I'm going to show you how to replace the rubber diaphragm in your T80 compressor used for diving. You're going to need a couple of things. A new diaphragm, a Phillips screwdriver, and a standard screwdriver. And an electric drill with a bit on it that has a square flat nose Phillips in. You're going to start by putting your drill on the low setting and breaking the bolts free from the head. All these bolts have a lock washer on. I'm going to want to make sure that you keep those intact. Once those are free, the head will come off, exposing the rubber diaphragm inside. Place the head off to one side. You're probably going to want, want to turn the pulley on the air compressor so this is diaphragm is slightly in the down position. Next, you're going to need your Phillips screwdriver, and you have five small screws that you're going to need to take off to take this retention plate. These rubber diaphragms wear out. Um, they wear out faster if the check valve or pressure release valve on the compressors are set too high due to the heat. The heat makes the rubber get hard and brittle and it doesn't last as long. I don't know how long it actually takes for them to wear out, but if you keep your pressure relief valve set for around 35 pounds, they'll last for several years. See this one here? See this plate? Once I've removed those screws, the plate comes off, put it off to the side. And then we have just the old rubber diaphragm. You can definitely tell the difference between the old one and the new one. This one has been worn. And I can tell that this has got hot because it's shaped, it's cupped, where you look at the new one and it's flat. So once that's done, you're going to want to clean off this plate and this is going to be air you're going creating the air you're going to be breathing on your regulator so it's a good idea to use always use clean rags um, you don't want to use alcohol on the rubber because that can damage it but using alcohol wipes on this metal here is not a bad idea Once that's clean, you take the new one, line it up, make sure the holes are right. Provide a lot more air while I'm diving this summer dredging. The plate just goes right back on. You want to tighten these down about as tight as you can get it with your hand. It's not going to be you're not going to need to make them any tighter than that. You'll pinch that rubber diaphragm too much and damage it. Get them all snug and start going around to each one and lock it in. That's back on. Now we can put the head back on.
Same thing, we're going to line everything up. I prefer to use the cordless drill on the screw setting because this head needs to have a certain amount of pressure on it to make sure there's no leaks. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to build up enough pressure while you're for your regulator while you're diving. So right now I'm just going to snug them all down and we're done. And that's how you replace the rubber diaphragm in your T80 compressor.